my entire understanding of Wall Street basically comes from the film The Wolf of Wall Street. I was particularly shocked to just randomly stumble upon it one time when I was in New York and I was walking up Broadway and it was there and it's just not what I expected. The film itself, however, does seem to be pretty accurate to the best of my knowledge of portraying the true story of Jordan Belfort and what happened, uh, well, with, with Wall Street with the crime and corruption and the government. This was released in 2013, directed by Scorsese, written by Terence Winter and also, I believe, Jordan Belfort, with an amazing cast. This includes DiCaprio as Belfort, Jonah Hill, Margot Robbie, Matthew McConaughey, Cal Chandler, uh, John Favreau, Joanna Lumley. Absolutely brilliant casting, of course, and DiCaprio does an amazing job in this role. Obviously I had no real expectations for this character, I didn't really know anything about him so I wasn't sure what DiCaprio's performance would be like or how it compares to the real person's I guess mannerisms and behaviours but from what I've read seems pretty accurate. It's got 8.2 out of 10 on IMDb, the 140th best rated film on IMDb which is obviously phenomenal. It is long (laughs) It's three hours in length and I have a really short attention span. Like, I watched this not that long ago and my favourite thing about watching long films at home is that I can pause them to go and pee. I would not have been able to watch this in the cinema unless there was an interlude. Maybe there was, I don't know, but I don't believe there was. Either way, the narrative itself is pretty well developed. I feel like the pacing was pretty good. You know, it's it started off with kind of a little bit of background and we got to know Jordan Belfort as an individual and I feel like I knew him enough to be able to then follow the story and understand when things were going wrong and things were getting, you know, when things were heightening and the intensity was increasing. And it was quite intense. It was very powerful. As I said, I've only, I've I've seen this once and once is not enough for me. However, it's, three hours in length so I'm not going to be watching it again in a hurry but I feel like if I were to ever study anything about Wall Street this is the film I would go to in the first instance. I feel like it's a nice recap on the basics and it reaffirmed some things that I'd suspected that I knew about it that I'd maybe read and picked up over the years but nothing you know it didn't teach me anything too in depth. I I would need to rewatch it several times But it it is educational, it's powerful. I think ultimately the reason why it works is the shock factor. But DiCaprio as Jordan Belfort is, um, well, an absolute joy to watch, really. It was nominated for five Oscars. uh, DiCaprio's best performance, Jonah Hill's best performance, um, directing for Scorsese, best writing for Terence Winter. And it was also nominated for best motion picture of the year. Just out of curiosity, I'm going to look at the Best Motion Picture nominees and it was a tough year. So we have Wolf of Horsey, Philomena, Nebraska, Her, Gravity, Dallas Buyers Club, Captain Phillips, American Hustle and the winner, 12 Years a Slave. Out of those, of the ones I've seen, about four of them, Gravity would be my winner. But it's a really good film. I think they did an excellent job telling what is actually a really complicated story and making it watchable. As I said, there will be a lot of things in this that I missed the first time, but I still understood it. I still got what was going on. And that's obviously going to be really important when you're dealing with something that's such a pivotal part of history, particularly American history, recent American recent history. It's really entertaining. It is dramatic. It is engaging. If you like anything based on true stories, you'll really thoroughly enjoy this. I would like to know. If you've seen it and you could pinpoint anything that was maybe incorrect or underplayed or over-exaggerated, you know, feel free to let me know. I'd be really interested to know if they took any liberties anywhere or anything like that. For me personally, Wolf of Wall Street, thoroughly enjoyable. 